Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well we've been creating a series of Elementor hover effects and they're really easy to do. Today we're going to do two simple image hover effects. If you look at the image on the left it's grayscale and when we hover over it it turns color and if you look at the one on the right it's that parrot and when we hover over it, it's going to morph into another bird or give a sort of morph effect. There we go. Really easy to do and we don't need to do any coding for this today. So I've got this page open in Elementor already. Let's go up and create a new section. And let's drag a simple image into our first one here and I'll add a new column so we can have two. Okay I'm just going to give my columns a little bit of padding so they're separated a bit so I'm going to go into the column a little dark tab there. I'm going to go in I'm going to give it a margin of 10 all the way around. Fantastic. Okay well let's go back in and add our image. Yeah, let's get something with a bit of color. I guess I'll use that same image again. And this is really simple. What we can do now is go over to our style. And if we go down, you'll find some CSS filters. If you click on the little pencil icon, we've got saturation down here at number four. Now when we're on it normally, we don't want to see any color, so just bring the saturation down to zero. Then when we hover on it, we want the color to come back in. So again, hover, CSS filters. We're going to bring the saturation back up to 100. As you can see, when we hover over it, it brings it back to 100, and we've got all our color back. Now the default time it takes to do this is pretty quick almost instant. I like to slow this effect down a little bit. So just below the CSS filters you'll see transition duration. I'm going to give this maybe half, three quarters of a second, something like that. 0.7 should do it. And that will just do it a bit slower when we've actually saved it. So let's update and preview our changes. There's our regular image. Then when we hover over it it's taking 0.7 of a second to bring the color in. And that's a very simple effect. You see that on a lot of websites too, especially on sort of brand logos and stuff like that. Okay, well, let's move on and do our second image. So again, let's go in. I'll give this border a little margin too, so we've got some separation. A little dark tab for the, for the column. Over to advanced, I'm going to give it 10. You want to give it separate amounts on each side just uncheck the little chain there great and now we want to give it a background while we're in here so let's go to style background type I'll just give it a regular background and there's an option to put an image in right there so let's choose our image and again we'll use similar to ones that we used last time so that's the image that we're going to morph to There it is right there. And let's now go back to our matrix, and put a regular image in there. Let's drag an image module in here. And we'll choose our image. We'll use the same one as before. There we go. Okay, now what do we want it to do? We want to see this image when we're not hovering on it. Then when we hover on it, we want it to have a kind of morph effect to go into the other image. So let's go over to our style filter and to create the initial simple image swap what we'll do is we'll go down here's normal and hover just above opacity here on normal we want it regular opacity so we can see the whole thing opacity is transparency or see-throughness then when we hover on it I want it zero I want it totally invisible and as you can see when I hover on it it disappears there now that's simple image swap there which is great 
And again, the duration time's real quick there. I'm gonna slow it down an awful lot. I'm gonna say 4.5 seconds. Obviously you put in what you want. We want it nice and slow. Now when we hover over it, it still happens, but it happens a lot more gradually. And to enhance the effect a little bit more, we can use a bit of saturation and blur with our CSS filters here. So again, we've got CSS filters. And let's think, when we're looking at this normally, we don't want any blur whatsoever. When we hover over it, I'm going to have it blur out. I'm also going to bring the saturation right up so all the colors are kind of crazy. Can't really see it, but when we hover on it, it sort of gives it that day glow. And I'm also going to change the hue, and that'll make the colors sort of change as it's morphing. Play around with it, get what you want. It's easier to see on the front end once we've done it. But as you can see there, the first one's kind of changing color and morphing out as a new one comes in. So it's not a real morph, but it's a nice little morph effect. So let's save our changes and have a look and see what we've got. And there we have our grayscale one when you hover over it. It turns to color in 0 0.7 seconds. And here's our other one when we hover over it. It takes four and a half seconds and morphs into a different picture. That's going to get people's attention. So there you go. There's two simple hover effects that we can do without using any coding whatsoever. Just using the Elementor theme. So I hope you've enjoyed that today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, comment, ring the bell, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.